they called me and told me a van drove through my garage. And then my son texts me, he's all, Dad, uh, come home, Rick's here. Patrick Landers has moments when he can be calm, here describing when he found out there was trouble at his Damascus home on Wednesday afternoon, and describing the last text his 12-year-old son Patrick Jr. would ever send him. The little man, dude, always happy, always playing. I think that's where we're done. But this is the toughest time any dad could face. His young son, shot and killed in what the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office says was a murder-suicide. The man with the gun, Lander's daughter's estranged husband, 34-year-old Ricochet Kerr. Despite a restraining order put in place, authorities say Kerr drove through a gate and into the garage door to get into the house, then shot and killed Patrick Jr. and two family dogs, a St. Bernard and a pit bull. Then he killed himself. Lander's daughter was not at the home, but he says Kerr contacted her when he was there. This is very disturbing to hear. He FaceTimed her, showed her. Showed her my son and her brother was dead and then ate the bullet. Landers at times cannot control his anger or his language. He is frustrated that a court in Washington County did not hold his son's killer during a hearing on Tuesday. Judge granted the restraining order because the guy was just being dumb. Stands up in court, says, I'm going to kill myself. Right there, it should have been over and done. We shouldn't even have this conversation. He should have been held. Yeah. He is also frustrated with law enforcement, who he feels did not treat the situation with urgency. He says deputies were staged at the top of his driveway when he came rushing home. I cut around everybody, start coming down the hill, and they start shooting at my truck. Deputies? Yeah. Why? What? Oh, we're scared somebody's going to actually do what you guys should have been doing? And above all else, the death of a son, so fresh and painful. I mean, you're home, man. You're supposed to feel safe at your house. It's supposed to be the one place you go home. Such a terrible, terrible tragedy. If you or someone you know is in a crisis, know that there is help. All you have to do is call 988 on any phone. It will connect you to a crisis center and a trained counselor. Yeah, remember, you are not alone. This